Hi guys, LPS Briley here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about different trends I've noticed in the LPS customizing community. So basically, I'm going to be talking about five different trends that I've noticed a lot of customizers are um, using in their LPS customs and stuff, and I, I'm mostly just doing this because I think it's an interesting topic and stuff, and I think it's very cool when other artists get inspired by each other and stuff, and um, I think it's also just cool in general seeing them. Um, similar stuff with LPS. I think the LPS customizing community is just such a great part of the community. It's probably my favorite part. It's really, I, I feel like it's really grown lately. I don't know if that's just because I've um, been more following more people and stuff, but I feel like um, it's definitely um, part of the LPS community that's still very strong and stuff. So I thought it'd just be interesting to talk about. And I'm also going to be showing you some customs from other artists to show as examples of people doing those certain trends and stuff. So I just want to say thank you to all the artists that I message off of Instagram that allowed me to use their photos and stuff because without that, this video would not happen. <laughs> um, so yeah, so let's get into the first trend. <laughs> So basically the first trend I want to talk about is um, cows, more specifically strawberry cows. Um, I've seen a lot of people doing cow customs which isn't really abnormal um, because obviously people just make things out of whatever base they want and stuff. But um, one thing I've specifically seen a lot is uh, strawberry cows which is kind of random and it kinda, but it kind of makes sense since there's like strawberry milk and stuff like that. But I've definitely seen a ton of customizers do this and stuff. So um, here's some examples of cow customs I've seen people do. So this one is from Velvet's custom and then I've also seen LPS Tiptoe customs do it and then um, L or Theo customized and then Pumpkin's custom and most recently today uh, um, Owl Talon customs also made one. So um, they're really cute. I love the cow customs. I've seen a lot of people also just do things um, other than strawberry cows like um, chocolate cows or um, I think I've even seen like purple cows and stuff like that. So I think it's a really cute and very creative way. I love the cow molds. They're so cute and stuff and it honestly really makes me want to do a cow custom if the bases were easier to come by. <laughs> So trend number two is glass eyes. Now glass eyes is probably the most common trend I've seen. Uh, I think I've seen a lot of people do it. The first person I'm pretty sure has done it, or at least the first person I saw do it, was Pumpkins Customs, um, which as you can see from the photos that hopefully are on screen right now, um, her customs are just stunning. Like uh, I think she makes them out of resin and molds and stuff, and then uh, obviously adds things into the resin and stuff. but. She's just very talented and stuff. And then uh, also I've seen a couple other people like Candy Eye Customs uh, who um, also adds like eyelashes and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, Hello Studios, she does a couple which I think she uses like, um, I think it's like those little pebbles that you get for fish tanks and stuff. And, and she, um, I think attaches paper. She has a tutorial on it if you want to see. And so that looks really cool. And I think it's um, honestly a, a very interesting trend because um, I think glass size is a thing. I might be wrong about this, but I, I think I've seen like doll customizers do it and stuff. And I think they just add so much to the LPS because obviously um, one thing about LPS I feel like is their eyes and stuff. But like glass eyes are just very pretty. <laughs> and stuff like that um so yeah here's an example of a glass eye custom i didn't do this i bought this from owl talon off instagram but as you can see um they're very pretty and they're like this little resin and the eyes have been cut out and stuff and i also think she put something in the head because the lps is very heavy and stuff but they're just gorgeous like <laughs> very pretty and definitely catches your attention so moving on to the third trend, which is um, mushroom customs. <laughs> I think this one is uh, definitely very interesting because I've seen a lot of people doing this. Um, and I feel like it's honestly kind of random, but don't get me wrong, I absolutely love uh, the mushroom customs I even have to myself, which um, I'll go get and show you. <laughs> So here's the um, for or my two uh, mushroom customs. I have this one's from LPS Tiptoe, who I think she was the first person I saw do this trend. So um, she did very cute <laughs> um, and stuff like that. And then this one's from Velvet Customs, who does a lot of um, mushroom customs also, which this one's really cute too. 
And I've also seen people like uh, Owl Talon Customs doing it and uh, stuff like that. So it's definitely a very cute um, th theme. <laughs> I like the whole nature look to it and I'd obviously love to do a Mushroom Custom also. A lot of these trends are very cool and if you're a customizer, I think you should definitely at least do a couple of them. Now, uh, the fourth trend is the Collie slash Retriever head swap. Um, now, uh, head swaps aren't super uncommon in the LPS customizer community. A lot of people do them and stuff. Um, but one I see very uh, often, which I think is very interesting, is the Collie and Retriever head swap. Um, um, I've seen people like uh, Theo Customizer do this and uh, Cobalt Studios or Meyer is the Weapon and stuff like that. Um, it also goes both ways too, which you don't see with a lot of head swaps. So um, I've seen people use Collie heads with Retriever bodies and then the Golden Retriever heads with the Collie bodies. And um, I think um, for head swaps, I feel like this one's the most uh, natural looking or normal one that uh, I've seen where I feel like it could honestly just be a regular LPS mold and stuff like that. And um, even LPS Lover QA who sells like those um, new fake LPS with designs and stuff, uh, she also sells um, white bases and stuff for customs and I think she even starts selling like the Collie and Retriever head swap base. So that's very interesting. Okay, sorry if things keep uh, jumping around in the video like my mascot and stuff like that. Um, it just keeps bugging me so I keep adjusting her. But um, uh, So the fifth trend is wings on customs, more specifically butterfly wings. So um, LPS with butterfly wings are very common. Uh, I feel like it's very common right now at least and I feel like it's the most popular one I've seen lately. Um, it mostly involves people ripping off the wings of butterflies, <laughs> which can I say, the poor butterflies. <laughs> um, and so they, they use the wings of the butterflies and attach them to uh, other molds or pets and stuff in order to make kind of like fairies. And then they also sometimes use the um, antennas of the butterflies and stuff. Um, which, like I was saying, poor butterflies literally using, losing their whole identity, but it's fine. <laughs> Um, but anyways, and um, the first person I saw th do this was uh, Velvet's Customs, um, and she does a lot of these type of customs. I'll show a couple on screen right now. But um, so Velvet's Customs, and then uh, I've also recently seen uh, Cobalt Studios do uh, this, which I think he even said he was inspired by Velvet's Customs, and then also um, Owl Talon, who somehow managed to um, combine this trend and the mushroom trend, which I'll show you the photo of the custom right now and stuff. But um, I definitely like the butterfly ones. Um, I think they're really cute. <laughs> uh, um, I think, uh, unfortunately, not a lot of people make butterfly um, customs, so I think it's a good way, I guess, to use the bases and stuff like that. Okay, trend number, um, oh, I guess number six, but it's also kind of five, is uh, wings again, but this one's with dragonfly wings. So um, it's pretty much the same as the last one, except it involves dragonfly wings. Uh, I've seen a lot of customizers like Pumpkins Customs and Velvet uh, Customs do this and stuff. And then um, also as a bonus, I when I was looking up the photos for this, I noticed people do the same thing, but with, um, uh, bee wings, which is really cute because they're so tiny, but um, yeah, so it's practically the same idea just with um, bee and dragonfly wings and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I've seen people like Owl Talon Customs and Velvet Customs use the, the bee wings. So in conclusion, um, I think it's very interesting how a lot of artists get inspired from each other. I love seeing the different trends in customs because Obviously, if it works, um, it's really nice to see other people doing uh, similar things because, um, you know, it just makes more love for the customs and stuff. And um, I think people are just so talented. It's crazy the ideas that people come with up with and stuff like that. But um, yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. You should definitely check out the um, customizers in this video or photos I've used in this video, which I'll put their um, names on the screen right here. So definitely check them out. I'll also link their um, their Instagram in the description and uh, their YouTube if I can find their YouTube. So I don't know if all of them have some. 
but uh, yeah definitely check them out because uh, they're literally all amazing I love all their customs so much <laughs> I wish I could just buy them all <laughs> but um, yeah uh, anyways thank you so much for watching this video if you'd like to see more like this then uh, you can check out the rest of my channel and stuff um, so yeah anyways thanks for watching bye <laughs>